Well, hello again. This is Dr. Gymnatis, and I'm with Cardiovascular Interventions. I'm the director here. And today I'm going to talk to you about right heart catheterizations and how we do them. Catheterization, where I'm going to look at the pressures in the lungs uh -huh. because when a patient is complaining of shortness of breath, by doing the right heart catheterization, I can make a determination as to whether it's coming from your lungs or whether the shortest breath is coming from the heart. So measuring the pressures inside the lungs is very important. And usually these patients are wide awake or they may be sedated if there's a lot of anxiety. Just like this patient here is very happy. And we're gonna hook that up to pressure now and see what his pressures are. So measuring the pressures in the heart and the lungs is completely painless. Patients don't feel anything whatsoever. Now we're gonna see the pressure readings up on the screen. This is a Swan-Gans catheter that is inserted through the arm, not the leg, in order to measure the pressures inside the lungs. And we do this for patients with pulmonary hypertension also. So an important part of the workup of patients who have shortness of breath, for example, is to measure their pulmonary artery pressures to make sure they don't have pulmonary hypertension. And we can monitor those pressures, and it's all done right here through the arm we don't even have to go into the leg and it literally takes 10 minutes to know the pressures. So we've just finished this cardiac catheterization right here in the office. We've determined the state of the arteries and the pressures in the lungs and the heart pump and this gives us a clear-cut idea of where we need to go with the patients. In the outpatient setting, the patient will be home an hour after this procedure, especially since we do it from the arm. When we do it from the leg, there's usually a little longer period of time that they have to stay on bed rest. So this is a very convenient way for a patient to do a procedure all through the arm only. And as soon as they finish from here, they're taken into the recovery room where they will spend the next one hour and then go home. They'll drink lots of fluids when they get home. And there are no other restrictions, basically, unlike the femoral approach where you go in from the groin. But Basically, having a cardiac cath lab in our office has changed the way we manage our patients because we can do everything right here in the office and we can see exactly what's going on, no more guessing. We know exactly precisely what's going on. And accuracy is most important in cardiology. You need to know what you're dealing with and guessing is not in the game here. So thank you for watching this video.